Hi, I'm Cynthia Khan, founder of Amuse Now, and I'm here today with hip hop recording artist Jack Rank. Hi, Jack. Hey, how you doing, Cynthia? It's good to speak with you today. I'm doing terrific. Good to see you too. All right. Jack, I listened to all your singles and I really love this self-titled single, Jack Rank, because you share your life story. Right. Tell me more about this song. Um, actually, that song, um, it was one of my favorites as well because it, it actually really does break down a lot of stuff. To, it's, it's really like an introduction track for me so they can get an understanding of who I am. Because a lot of people, they didn't really understand who I am or what I stood for or where I was coming from. That's, that's been my number one hit right there. Everybody loved that track for some reason. I think people like it because it's, it's real. You can tell it's your story, and it's very touching. You, right. you feel it when you talk. I like it. Right. Yeah, that was what I was trying to do. I was trying to get them to understand me more, you know what I'm saying, because me being a new artist and everything, they really didn't get, you know, my style or where I was coming from with it. So, you know, it was a plus for me, plus for everybody who loved it, you know. I agree. And I also like your older track, All About You. Who's that song about? Uh, that song actually came about... Uh, like I say, the kind of music I make is situational music, so whatever situation I'm going through at the current time, that's how I compose a record. Um, that actual record was, you know, about a female I was dating at the time and just something I wanted to get off my chest and be realistic about and speak on, and that's how that came about. You know, it was it's just all about situation. Nothing's really playing. It was just how I was feeling at the time, just getting there and putting on wax. So, uh, yeah, it was a past relationship, but that was... That's long sale, so. <laughs> <laughs> like that is long sale. <laughs> you say that the term Jack Rank means that you won't allow yourself to give up. So give us your backstory and why you chose the name Jack Rank for your hip hop career. Well, it first started uh, back in my adolescent days. You know, they would, you know, the, the terminology we use where I'm from back in Florida, you know, they would say, like, you know, we do a little freestyle battles with each other. And, they'll, you know, they'll be like, hey, man, come jack this beat, come jack this beat or whatever. So it kind of stuck with me. But then um, the whole the whole military thing came about when I added rank to it because it's like, you know, through, throughout life, you got to go from one step to the next. You know what I'm saying? There's levels to everything you do. So. Your whole mentality has to be that you're trying to get to the highest level, reach your ultimate goal of what you're trying to do. So that's the top rank. You know what I'm saying? Just like in the Army, they got the top rank. So you're going to do whatever it takes to get to your goal, to reach your top rank, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So with me, it was just like I'm jacking rank on anybody that stands in the way from what I'm trying to do and my goal that I'm trying to reach. And that's where it came about. And that's how I just stuck, just put it together. And that's the mentality that I have. And that's the mentality really anyone should have, you know, if you're trying to achieve anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that came about with the name and everything. I mean, at first it was just Jack, but then I added the rank to it and made it a solid, you know what I'm saying, a solid movement. So even your name has a story. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that keeps me motivated. It's, it's every time I think about it, it's motivation for me. And I let others know, you know, that's what it's all about in life is just getting to the point that you want to be, you know what I'm saying, and, and don't let nobody stand in your way to get it, you know. I do. And your bio says you've been doing it for quite a long time because you've been into music since middle school. So yeah. what's your music background? Uh, Middle school, when I say middle school, I mean it's that's when – Hip hop really piqued my interest, you know. As far as musical, I don't, you know, it ain't like I was an instrument player, or nothing like that. But you know, it was just I was fascinated with hip hop at that time in middle school, and it just stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I didn't really put my first record on wax till I was like in tenth grade, and that was the first time I ever recorded in the studio. Everything else was just freestyling or just you know writing little rhymes and stuff that was 
you know, wouldn't pique anybody's interest back then, but my first record wasn't until I was like in the tenth grade. But that's still a pretty long time. But you know, it's all about just sticking with it and, and, and grinding it out. You know, it's just something I'm passionate about that I just stay into it and it never fails me. You know what I'm saying? Anything I feel I just go put it down, lay it down, get it off my chest or whatnot, you know. I do. And it you must have to collaborate with other artists without having a formal music training background. What do you look for? Uh, when collaborating with artists, uh, I do collaborate with a lot of artists. Um, they really got to bring something to the table. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a lot of rappers out here. Really, anybody can rap, you know what I mean? But it, it, they got to have that passion, you know, and they own music that they create. You got to really hear that passion, that drive, that go-getter in them, you know what I'm saying, for me to really, for us to really click on a record. You know what I'm saying? I just can't jump on a track with anybody because everything don't work out like you, you intend for it to, to do, you know. So when I collab with an artist, I look for creativity. I look for passion. I look for drive. You know, I look for they, they mental with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this really what they trying to do or is this just a hobby that they doing? You know what I'm saying? So when I collab with artists, my top thing, you show me creativity, man. We can work all day. You know what I mean? You have your music posted on quite a few websites. What is your social media strategy? Uh, right now, man, we're just really trying to get it in as many people's faces as possible. So, you know, we're just trying to stretch it as far as it can go. You know, as far as the, the social media, the internet, as far as it can take us, we're just trying to stretch it as far as it'll go. And uh, just pretty much getting everybody faced with it. Let it know, let them know it's here. You know, it's here to stay, and, and, and it's something that they really need to jump into and, and dig in because it's, it's reality. You know what I'm saying? All this music that we putting out is reality. You know, it's fact. They can relate. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't walk down the same roads I done been down, so they get a, it's a good, you know, it's a good outlet for them that they really need to check it out. So what we do, we just stay in people's faces, man. Just let them know every day. They go to sleep with us on the mind. They wake up with us on the mind, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it as far as the social, you know, the, the internet. It's a good tool to have this internet. You know, it really reaches a whole broader people that you really can't reach on your own. You know what I mean? You definitely have access to anybody, which is terrific, too. <laughs> right. As you know, Amuse Now is about artists helping artists. What advice as an up-and-coming rap artist and hip-hop artist do you have for other ones who are trying to make a name for themselves? Uh, I mean, we all in the same boat, you know. Uh, the only advice I really can give, the best advice I can give is, is you know, you got to be full, you got to be, you know, all in with it. You can't just be halfway in with this, you know what I'm saying, because with this it's going to take every bit of everything that you got, you know what I'm saying, you can't just have one foot in this and then have another foot in that, you got to be all in or nothing, you know, so if you're going to do music, be all in, I mean, you eat, sleep and breathe this, nothing else, you know what I'm saying, because anything else is just going to slow you down from what you want to do, so you got to be able to do this like around the clock, you know, you got to sleep in that studio, you got to live in it, you got to just grind every day. Music, music, music. That's got to be your mentality. And that's what I would tell anybody who's trying to do music or anything else. You know, if it's not music, any anything that you're trying to indulge yourself in, indulge yourself in it completely and, and, and lose yourself in it. And then you'll see the results start to come in. I like that. A lot of people think that it's that it's easy or you can do it anytime you want as a hobby, but even if you have a day job, you really have to be committed to your craft and your art. Definitely. Most definitely. What's up next for Jack Rank? Uh, we got a lot going on. 2015 is going to be real hectic. Uh, as a matter of fact, as soon as this interview is over, I got a photo, uh, video shoot. We're going to go shoot a video to one of the uh, street singles that we pushing this year called Paper. Uh, everybody be on the lookout for that. We're going to do that today. Uh, 
this year is going to be real crazy. We coming out the gate swinging. The first of the year we've been on the move. Uh, we got a single drop it low coming out. That's my commercial track that we're trying to go worldwide with. Um, it's a great record. Um, we got a lot of things. We got the uh, the EP dropping in March. Extended, uh, extended project album is dropping in March. And um, we got a mixtape coming up in the summer. We got a lot going on. A lot of traveling, a lot of shows we got going on. It's 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 finna get real crazy, but you know I'm blessed and I'm thankful for every, all of it. You know, a lot of sleep's gonna be lost, but that all come with the territory. So, um, all I can say for everybody, just stay tuned, follow me, keep an eye on everything, and and just 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 keep up with me. You'll see every move that we making. It's gonna be a good one this year. That's right. Go out to the blog, and we'll list all his contact information and check it out. Right. Jack, I had a fabulous time getting to know you today. Oh, thank you. Um, I really appreciate you taking your time out to talk to me and, uh, you know, spread the word about me. I definitely appreciate it from the bottom to the top. Good luck on your video shoot today and all the music. And if you ever get to the Pacific Northwest, specifically Portland, Oregon, you better give me a call. Oh, I will definitely do that. I appreciate it. Thanks so much and have a great day. Thank you. You too. Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now. This featured artist presentation has been brought to you by Amuse Now Entertainment, a website that enables artists to profit from their creativity. To learn more about Amuse Now, visit us at www.amusednow.com or email me at ccon at amusenow.com.